Okay, so last night we saw their wedding special. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the wedding because I already said last week how I felt about that. But I did watch. And um, to be honest, guys, I don't really have uh, a particular opinion when it comes to that. Um, I just feel like we have seen so many clips and footage over the past year of the wedding. So there was, you know, I was still looking for, you know, the big aha moment. And I was just like, oh, I've seen this already. I've seen it on Instagram. So um, I know Teresa's hair broke the internet last year when she got married. And to be honest with you, it's kind of divided out there. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. I personally thought that it was very Teresa. Um, I think it, su it, it suited her well and that she looked beautiful at her wedding, obviously, right? So that's my opinion. Now, um, I'm not necessarily like that over the top, but, you know, I think personality-wise, it works for her. She looked great. Um, there was a lot of entertainment, like different entertainment at her wedding. So, <laughs> you know, if she liked it, I loved it. So that's what I'm going to say about that. But here's the thing, though. In terms like, you know, there's always a little bit of drama. If you've been married before, you know, there's drama leading up to the wedding and sometimes even on the wedding day. So I'm not surprised that there was a little bit of drama that was brought up. But that kind of proves my point that Melissa and Teresa, they kind of go together hand in hand because f Teresa, uh, f Melissa and Joe were not part of the wedding. However, they were talked about. They were talked about. They were brought up by Jennifer. They were brought up by Danielle and they were brought up by Margaret and then Melania or I think it was Melania had a fit um, because Jennifer was having the conversation with Teresa and say, I'm sorry, I apologize because I feel like I played a part. So I don't know, like whatever. Right. So um, it kind of proves my point, kind of proves my point that without Melissa, maybe Teresa's storyline is a little weak right now, not in the past. Right. In the past, she's been through so much, but now I'm just not quite sure um, what she would have to offer the viewers just without Melissa. Like, I guess she has Louis, but then it means that she has to prepare herself for people to just really be looking at Louis very clear, like even more, because at this point, it seems like he is the interesting party of the show, right? Not a good one, but interesting, um, regardless. So regardless. So, um, what is my opinion on Margaret wanting to leave the sh uh, the wedding early in support of Melissa and Joe? Um, honestly, I think that Margaret would have made more of a statement by just staying home. We all know she doesn't like Teresa. Teresa doesn't like her. Um, if she really wanted to be supportive of Joe and Melissa, she should have just said, you know what, here's the money or here's your gift and... I'm just staying home tonight, right? And I guess I'll hear all about it the next day. She could have done that. Um, I, I don't see the point of going to a wedding just to leave early. Like, you might as well just enjoy the food and the party if you're going to go, right? <laughs> and then it was funny how she brought it up to the girls. And then Jackie was like, uh, I don't know why you're doing that. Like, uh, that's not necessary. And then Margaret kind of had a little bit of a fit. She was just like, okay, let's not talk about it. Like, she's getting frustrated because the ladies are not necessarily agreeing with her. And Jen Fessler is like, yeah. Well, I came with you, so I guess I have to leave with you. And in that instance, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's almost like, I think I talked about this before, but I felt like there was a little bit of tension um, between Jen Fessler. I've said this like several episodes ago after the trip, like the Ireland trip. I felt there was a little bit of tension between Margaret and Jen Fessler because Jen Fessler, you know, does not just seem to be one of Margaret's soldier, quote unquote, right? If you if we want to use that word. So um, it's almost like to me, it almost feels like um, Jen said yes. Jen Fessler said yes, just to prove that she had some sort of loyalty to Margaret, but she did it um, against her own will. Right. So like it felt very forceful to me. So anyways, she left and then she said in um, her confessional um, for the Real Housewives of uh, New Jersey after show that she regretted 
she regretted doing it deeply and that she even apologized to Teresa and said, you know what, I should have stayed. I should have not done that. You know, and I agree with that. Right. I agree that she should have stayed as well. She could have just said, OK, well, bye, Margaret. All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'll take a cab. It's not like you can't take a cab. Right. You can call a cab or you can ask somebody else to drive you like you didn't have to leave. Right. So anyways, that's that. And Louis, Louis freaking out. Like, I don't know what Louis is doing on his phone the night of the wedding. Like, you know, you're supposed to be happy and not trying to look at things that could potentially trigger you. I don't know if it's like if it was people sending him clips of the Gorgas having fun at their shore house or if he was just seeing it on their own on their social media. But you would think that they would have unfollowed each other by that time right by that point so anyways i don't know and then he 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 went to talk to rosanna and then he had like a little bit of a tantrum with her we don't actually get to see uh what louis is doing but we can overhear him and he we 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 hear like some sort of commotion as if like i don't know if he banged on something or if he smashed into the wall but Anyways, he seems very upset and he's making all kinds of threats. Um, it's funny because uh, Louis likes to use the F word a lot and he curses quite a bit. And it's funny because at first I remember Teresa when she was talking to Andy and Andy was like, "Ooh, Louis is so well spoken and I love him. And he seems like he's like Oprah and Joe Judice was just a caveman, which I didn't like. I didn't appreciate that comment, Andy. Um, but anyways... Teresa said, oh, Louis is so great. He doesn't yell. He doesn't scream. He doesn't curse. Well, we haven't seen that. <laughs> we haven't seen that. The Louis that we know, he curses. He swears. He raises his voice. He smashes things. It's like this is a different person. So I'm just saying, I don't know what happened to the Louis of before, but the Louis that we've seen this season is not a calm Louis. I just wanted to point that out. So anyways, um, so that's it. That's really that's really it when it comes to the wedding special. What I'm really excited about, though, is the reunion. I hope you guys have watched the trailer. It is completely insane. Insane, insane, insane. I can't wait. Honestly, I don't know if I want to talk about it every single week or if I'm going to wait at the end to talk about it. But knowing me and my obsession of this show, this particular show, I, I'm probably going to come every single week and talk about uh, the show. <laughs> I can't do that to my husband and just talk to him about it. He'll just be like, can you just go and do your own podcast? Because I am i don't want to hear about this stuff anymore. <laughs> so I'll probably come on. But here's the thing, guys. I've seen this. Um online like I can't remember which account it was but I saw online on Instagram um, about Vanderpump rules that account said that the reunion I believe the reunion starts today um, so the reunion airs on Bravo on Wednesday and then apparently according to that account the next day, the Thursday, it will air on Peacock, but the unedited version, the uncut version. So we as the viewers are going to get to see Vanderpump Rules, uh, the edited version on Bravo every Wednesday. And the next day, if you want to see the full, full version uncut and everything that goes down, it's going to be on Peacock. I have a suggestion for Bravo. Can you do the exact same thing for the Real Housewives of New Jersey? How epic would that be? Because, you know, I feel like they shortchange us at the reunion. Uh, there's a lot of edits, and sometimes we're just like, oh, this is not what really happened. This is what they want to they, they want to make us think. I think they should do the same thing. Remember a long time ago they used to have the reunion, and then they would release an episode like unseen footage or loose footage or something like that? It would be nice if they did something similar again, because this reunion show is going to be three parts, and I feel like we probably need more, right? It needs to be a super reunion, <laughs> almost like the Real Housewives of uh, Atlanta when they had the four-part reunion. I feel like this one is probably one of those, because we didn't get much, 
We didn't get much this season. Like everything that we saw, we pretty much knew, right? But a lot of it has happened behind the scenes. And I would love to see and hear and watch every single thing. And then, you know, we can just come back here and talk about it all here. So I can't wait until next week. So guys, I just wanted to take a minute just to say Thank you to every single one of you that have subscribed to my channel on YouTube. Uh, I want to thank every single person that takes their like time out of their days to just listen to this podcast every single week. Um, I don't know if everyone that has su subscribed is a supporter <laughs> uh, because you can follow without supporting, but I would hope that if you have subscribed that you support support my channel and that you like the co the content uh, that I deliver for you every single week. So I just wanted to take a moment just to acknowledge every single one of you and just to say thank you very much. Uh, our intimate community keeps on growing and I'm very thankful for your listening ship. So um, another thing that I wanted to say was I do have people listening from Europe. So, you know, if you feel like you want to leave a comment or you want to communicate with me, because guys, I love to chat, uh, DMs, you know, emails, all my information is out there. So if you want to talk to me, you know where to find me. But if you are uh, hesitant to to reach out to me because you're from Europe and you're thinking, well, I don't like I, I hear everything that she says and I understand, but I don't know if I'm comfortable um, you know, leaving a comment or communicating with her in English, but you speak French. Just want to say to my French lis listeners, do not hesitate to get uh, in touch with me in writing, uh, in English or in French. Je parle français aussi, donc si vous avez l'intention de, de discuter avec moi, puis de me donner votre opinion par rapport à ce show, uh, vous pouvez le faire en français, je vous répondrai en français également. Donc, uh, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I love you all. As always, be a fan, not fanatical. Ciao!